Hello, America. My name's Vern Williams. I served 12 years of my life in the United States Army, active duty. And recently, something disgusting happened to me. I had a lady trespassing on my property, my family's property. And I tried telling the lady to get off my property and she wouldn't do it. She told me that she didn't have to. Didn't have to. So I told the lady several times to leave. And the end of this whole story, she ended up calling the police, lying to the police, telling the police that I threatened her life and chased her with a knife and told her I'd kill her. This isn't true. She went under oath in a trial, lied to a judge, told the judge that I threatened this woman. This woman was 50, 60 years old. No way I threatened this woman's life or chased her around with a knife and tried to kill her. Needless to say, the judge in this trial looked exactly like the woman that pressed charges on me. And they found me guilty. Guilty. The woman admitted in the trial that she was trespassing on my property. Admitted. She admitted in the 911 call that she was trespassing. I didn't do anything illegal. Nothing illegal. The North Carolina law even stated that everything I did was within the North Carolina law. My lawyer even stated the law to the judge. The judge absolutely ignored the law. Found me guilty. I have no record except a DWI back in 2004. It's 2018. I have no record. The DA tried putting me in jail for over 150 days for something I didn't do. America, you stabbed me in my back. They're trying to do this to me because I have PTSD. I'm sorry, America. The last time I checked, you wanted war fighters. You bred us. You created us. You sent us to war. You wanted us to fight. Why would you do that? And then you sit here and you stab us in the backs. You want to know why 22 soldiers kill themselves every day? It's because of crap like this. When you sit here and we come back and we try to incorporate ourselves back into society and y'all turn around and you stab us in the back. We sit here and try to defend our properties against you guys and then y'all turn around and lie to the cops about us just because we have PTSD or something and you turn around and you try to make us out to be monsters. It's sickening, America. What the hell is wrong with you all? Y'all make me sick. Just sickening. I've had so many friends kill themselves because of the crap y'all put us through. It's y'all's fault, America. It's y'all's fault. All you god civilians that sit around and talk shit about us Soldiers. It's pathetic. That's what I think of y'all sheds. Pull your heads out of your asses and take care of us veterans and us soldiers. We do the shit in the nighttime while y'all are sleeping so y'all can do that shit in freedom. And everything on this uniform right here, I sweat and I bled. Worked my ass off for everything on this uniform. Everything. You know what this is, America? I can't replace this. I can't. Only way I can get that back is by getting hurt in combat. Sure, you can probably buy one on the internet, but I got that by being hurt in combat. I can't replace that unless I go back to combat and get hurt again. Y'all make me sick. Look at this. This is what y'all make me feel like, America. Now look at this. Look closely. Watch it 
burn. This is what you push us to, America. I can't replace any of that. Now why? Why in God's green earth would y'all allow judges to not follow the law, not follow what's wrote down in the law books, not do what they're supposed to and follow their, what they're supposed to in their jobs? This judge completely ignored the law, completely ignored what's wrote down in the law books, and found me guilty, even though everything I did was completely in the law books and completely within the law and within my rights. But this judge completely ignored the law and found me guilty solely off of he said, she said from the DA and everybody and the cops in this county, Curry Tuck, North Carolina. Why, America? Why do you turn your backs on your veterans and your soldiers? Why do you do this to us? This is why 22 veterans a day kill themselves. Because we have to come home and deal with your shit. You all turning your backs on us. It's not our fault that you guys don't have the goddamn balls to put on that uniform and go fight. It's not our fault. It's your fault. Why don't you guys start freaking standing up for your country? That's all I got to say.